1st, 1989. Dear Diary, I think I'm a good person, you know, I think that there's a happy one, but, um, here we are, first day of senior year, and, um, I'm 
like to be their boyfriend. That would be beautiful. <laughs> 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 Grow up, Heather. Believe me, I'm so 87. Heather's right. Maybe you should see a doctor, Heather. Yeah, Heather. Maybe I should. Oh, Heather and Heather. <laughs> and Heather. Perhaps you didn't hear the bell over all the vomiting. You're late for class. Heather wasn't feeling well. We're helping her. Not without a hall pass, you're not. Um, actually, Miss Fenling, all, all four of us are out on a hall pass for yearbook committee. So you're all listed. Hurry up, get where you're going. This is an excellent forgery. Who are you? Uh, Veronica, sorry, I, um, I, I crave a boon. Watch boon. Um, let me sit at your table with you at lunch just once. No talking necessary. If people think you guys tolerate me, then they'll leave me alone. <laughs> Before you answer, I also took report cards, permission slips, and absence notes. How about prescriptions? Shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. You're a greasy little nobody. You do have good bone structure. And a symmetrical face. If I took a meat cleaver down the center of your skin, I'd have matching hands. Of course, you can stand to lose a few pounds. And you know, you know, you know, this could be beautiful. Mascara, maybe some lip gloss. And we're on our way. Get this girl some blush. And Heather, I need your brush. Let's make her. Watching you and thinking about us in the old days, 
I hope you can come to my homecoming party this weekend. Miss you, ma'am. <gasps> Put an XO after the signature. What's this for anyway? I just found out that Ram used to hang with Martha Dumpshot. Well, <laughs> yeah, in kindergarten we all did. We all did a kiss on the kickball field. Oh, that's right, I remember. Ram kissed Martha Dumpshot. It was disgusting. Perfect. <laughs> It'd be so righteous to be in the middle of the Heather Chandler Veronica Sawyer sandwich. <laughs> Hell yeah, punch it in. Let me even talk to that, Florida. Oh, don't read it. She's having an extra heavy flow and wanted some advice from my gyno. Ew, bro! <laughs> what are you doing? Please don't do this, okay? Not to Martha. What? You'll give her shower nozzle masturbation material for a week. Shut up, Heather! <laughs> Sorry, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Martha has had a thing for Graham for like 12 years now, okay? This, this would kill her. Are me. we gonna have a problem? <laughs> You got a bone to pick? You've come so far, why now are you pulling on my dick? I go to the slap your face off, and everyone here could watch. But I'm feeling nice, here's some advice. Listen up, biatch! Man, we're too old for that shit. Hey, sweetheart! 
What's your boyfriend say when you told him you were moving to Sherwood, Ohio? <laughs> My buddy Kurt just asked you a question. Hey, Graham, doesn't the cafeteria have a no bags allowed rule? Seem to have an open door policy for assholes, though. <laughs> Hold his arms. <laughs> <laughs> Why, when you see boys fighting, does it look so horrible, yet feel so right? Oh, you should watch this crap that's not who I am, but with this kid. <laughs> Maybe I want more out of life than liverwurst, Mom. 
Those girls seem really nice. <laughs>
on here and let's motor. <laughs> Big for me. 
a little late for that. Heather! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god, I just killed my best friend! And your worst enemy. <laughs> Difference! <laughs> Wait, the police are gonna think that I did this on purpose. Oh my god, they're gonna have to send my SAT scores to San Quentin. <laughs> Unless. Oh, look! She was reading. The bell jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. You can fake her handwriting. Just make it sound deep. Like this. I had pain in my path. Like Sylvia Plath. My problems were myriad. I was having my period. <laughs> <laughs>
your mind. Uh, maybe Heather realized that um, in order to be happy, she had to give up her power and that the only way to do that was death. My God, look what we've done. We're breaking through. Heather would be so proud of you.
what's the deal if I got you to come for a promise to leave me alone? <laughs> so, so you avoided date rape by volunteering me for date rape. <laughs> Heather 
Chandler. Please, please worry less about me and more about your reputation. Curtin Ram had been telling the whole school about your little freeway last night. Freeway? Oh. No, there was no freeway. Nothing happened. I remember differently. I seem to remember there was a big sword fight in her mouth. <laughs> 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 big sword fight in her mouth. It sure sounds crowded. And then we talk with sound. And flesh is our flag. It's a lobby. They turn over like origami. Bullets. What? My granddad scored him in World War II, 
They contain this powerful tranquilizer. The Nazis used them to fake their own suicides when the Russians invaded Berlin. We will use them to knock out Kurt and Ram just long enough to make it look like a suicide pact. Complete with a forged suicide note. Graham and I died because we had to hide our gay, forbidden love. <laughs> Stop. My boy Kurt isn't who I thought he was, and when I think was sick, disgusting things that Kurt and Ram were doing. You wait just a minute, Paul. <laughs> it isn't 
ignorant, hateful talk like yours that makes this world a place our boys could not live in. They were not dirty. They were not wrong. Yes, my boys are homosexual, and that don't scare me none. I want the world to know. I love my dead gay son. <laughs>
No, I do not accept this. We've already killed three people. This ends right here, right now. Or what? I'll, I'll break up with you. Any war is casualties. Doesn't mean it's not worth fighting. What? What? You, you, you'd rather go to jail? Hmm? And, and give a free pass to the thugs who hurt people? Evil fucks! that make life so unbearable that you can't stand to live in the world anymore. Jenny! How did your mother die? You really want to know? Yeah. My dad said it was an accident. But she knew what she was doing. She walked into that building two minutes before Dad blew it up. She waved at me out the window, and then kaboom. She left me. I'm really sorry. I... It's okay. The pain gives me clarity. You and I are special. We have a lot of work to do. A lot of work. Making the world a decent place for people who are decent. When does it end? When every asshole is dead! Fine, we're damaged. Really damaged, but that does not make us wise. We're not special. We're not different. We don't choose who lives or dies. Let's be normal. See bad movies. Take a beer and watch TV. We'll bake brownies or go bowling. Don't you want a life with me? Can't we be seventeen? So I want to do.
that wounded look. You know exactly what he is, and you love it. Stop talking. Only a true dead best friend would give it to you straight. Veronica, I need your help. Sure, what? Something doesn't add up. I think Rand and Kurt were murdered. Well, fuck me gently with a chainsaw. <laughs> No, look, I had to hurt her, okay? If JD caught her going through his stuff, he would kill her? Is that what you're afraid of? I thought the Desperado hung up his six guns. Don't you trust him? I look everywhere for it. Veronica, there you are. I need to grow the place the assembly. Oh, right, this thing, Christ. Oh, I can't tell to the metal, come on now. Show the muscle. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Did you have a brain tumor for breakfast? Thank you. 
horror about saving lives. Heather Duke ruined invaluable TV. Valuable. None of us want this spectacle to be experimented on like guinea pigs and patronize like bunny rabbits. I don't patronize bunny rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> this is their big secret, Veronica. The adults are powerless. Heather trusted you. You said that you would protect her. They can't help us. Nobody can help us. It's useless. We're alone in the ocean. And all of you are idiots. You should sit down now. No, Heather was a monster. Just like Kurt and Raymond Inn killed themselves, I killed them! <laughs> what do you all think of that? <laughs>
that's from Moby Dick. I appreciate a well-read woman. What's in the envelope? Oh, crap. Just a tangible reminder that at one point in around age six, I'm guessing, you and Martha Dunstock were friends. Where'd you get these pictures? Did Veronica give them to you? What do you want, money?
sign. I've gotten everybody to sign it, even the dweebs and losers. I'm not signing that. Veronica, why are you pulling my dick? <laughs> it was your boyfriend's idea. Me too. He made up the signature sheet and everything. Come on. Okay. I don't know what Judy is up to, but if you know what's good for you, please just throw that away. Not a chance. I'll just fake your signature like I did with Martha Dump Truck. <laughs> She's in no shape to sign anything today. Why not? It was on the radio. She took a belly flop off the old mill bridge last night, holding a suicide note. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, just some broken bones. Just another geek trying to imitate the popular people and failing miserably.
person. What? Where are you going? Out. When will you be back? That's a good question. I wanted someone strong who could protect me. I let his anger fester and infect me.
after. <laughs> Don't know what this thing will do. Hope you miss me, wish you kiss me, then you know I worship you. I'll trade my life for yours. Oh my God. And once I I miss you. I'd be honored. 